Praise God, guys. Guys, don't go to Starbucks, guys. Don't you know that they support homosex? Jesus is not okay with homosex. Jesus Christ is coming soon, guys. What are you going to do? Jesus might hate you. If you're a worker of iniquity, God hates you. Jesus Christ, everybody. If you're a homosexual, you're in deep danger. What are you, out of your mind? Don't go to Starbucks. Don't you know that they support homosex? Jesus hates homosex. God hates sin, guys. God hates sin. If you want to make it to heaven, you need to live holy. You need to live holy. Jesus Christ says you must get born again. Jesus says that you must get born again. Have you been born again? Have you been born again? Most people are fake Christian. Are you a fake Christian? Are you a fake Christian? Jesus is coming soon. Jesus Christ, repent of your sin, which means stop sinning. God hates sin. God wants you to stop your sin. What have you been doing with your life? Amen, amen. What have you been doing with your life? Don't go to Starbucks. They support demons. They support homosex. Don't you know that? God hates sin. Jesus Christ hates sin. God is coming back, guys. God is real. Jesus is God. And he's coming back. Jesus is God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the only one that can give you true happiness. Jesus is the only one that can give you true happiness. Everything else is stupid. Sin is stupid, guys. Sin is stupid. Sin is stupid. Don't be a sinner. If you are a sinner, you're an enemy of God, and you're a child of the devil. Jesus says you need to become a child of God if you want to make it to heaven. If you want to make it to heaven, you need to become a child of God. Jesus says that there is children of the devil. Are you still a child of the devil? Don't go to Starbucks. They support homosex and demons. Jesus says you need to become a child of God to make it to heaven. If you are a child of the devil, you're in deep, hot danger, and God is coming after you. If you are a child of the devil, you're an enemy of God, and God is coming after you. If you're a sinner, you're an enemy of God, a child of the devil, and you're on your way to hell. What are you going to do? Are you going to repent? Are you going to repent of your sin and believe in Jesus Christ? What are you going to do? Jesus does not love everybody. If you want... To if you want God to love on you, you need to love on the Son of God. You need to love on Jesus Christ. If you want God to love on you, you need to love on the Son of God. You need to love on the Son of God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you need to love on the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Demons come out in the name of Jesus. They don't come out in the name of Muhammad. Demons come out with the name of Jesus Christ. If you are dealing with homosexuality, you might need deliverance. If you're dealing with fornication, drug addiction, Jesus can heal you. Jesus can heal you. He can set you free from bondage and sin. Jesus Christ can heal you if you repent. 
Think about your life. Think about what you're doing with life. If you love your kids, you're going to follow Jesus. If you love your kids, you're going to follow Jesus Christ. Jesus won't accept you the way that you are. If you die a sinner, God is not going to accept you. You must get born again. You must get born again if you want to make it to heaven. <sighs> if you die a sinner, you're going to go to hell. You need Jesus Christ to make it to heaven. You need to become a child of God. No more, no more being a drunkard. No more smoking pot. Smoking pot is stupid. Don't smoke pot. Getting drunk is stupid. No more smoking pot. Pot is not cool. S smoking pot is not cool. You need to follow Jesus. You need to be perfect. Jesus says to be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. You need to be perfect if you want to make it to heaven. Guys, don't go to Starbucks, guys. Don't go to Starbucks. Okay, good. Okay, maybe they're not going to Starbucks. All right, praise God. Starbucks, I've heard that Starbucks has said if you don't support homosexuality, don't buy from them. That is big wickedness. Jesus is coming back. Jesus Christ is coming back. And if you are a sinner, God is going to kill you when he comes back. If you are a sinner, repent, follow Jesus Christ, follow Jesus. If you're a sinner, when Jesus Christ comes back, he's going to kill you. If you die a sinner, you're going to be sent to the lake of fire. Follow Jesus Christ. Stop sinning. Go and sin no more. God hates sin. Jesus hates sin big time. God hates sin. If you want to make it to heaven, you need to follow Jesus Christ. You need to get born again. Jesus says, unless one is born again, he cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Are you still a child of the devil? Are you guys still a child of the devil? Are you guys still a child of the devil? If you are still a child of the devil, you're in deep danger. Jesus says, if you receive him, he gives you the right to become a child of God. You know, you know, if you receive Jesus, he gives you the right to become a child of God. If you receive Jesus Christ, he gives you the right to become a child of God. Hallelujah. What a beautiful day today. You need to fear God. Fear God. Think about your life. What's going to happen if you die in two minutes from now? What's going to happen if you die in ten seconds from now? Don't go to Starbucks, guys. They support homo sex. Don't you know that? Don't you know that? And they have a picture of a demon. A picture of a demon. Don't go to Starbucks. They support homo sex. God hates sin. Not all sin is equal. Not all sin is equal. Not all sin is equal. Not 
Jesus hates sin, and he might hate you. If you're a sinner, God might hate you. Jesus says that he hates all workers of iniquity. If you want God to love on you, you need to love on Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I felt led to come out here today. I felt led to come to this exact spot, pretty tight, squeezed in area, to preach the word to you guys, to love on you guys today. Jesus hates sin. If you die a sinner, you're in deep trouble. You're in bad trouble. You're in hot trouble. <clears throat> you know, some of you guys are getting really old. You know, you know, I'm only 22 years old. Think about your life. If you're super old, you might die soon. You might die today if you're young. Guys, don't go to Starbucks. They support homosex. Don't you know that? Don't be out of your mind. Don't be out of your mind. Think about your life. And they have a picture of a demon as their logo. That is bad wickedness. Big wickedness. If you love your neighbor, you're going to tell them the truth. If you love God, you are going to get hated by a lot of people. Jesus hates sin, big time. If you die a sinner, you're going to be sent to the lake of fire. Think about your life. What are you doing with your life? Are you just playing video games, wasting your time playing video games? Nerds do not make it to heaven. Hey, shame on you for saying that. Don't talk that way to me, woman. Jesus hates sin big time. Don't go to Starbucks. Don't you know that they support homosex? Don't go to Starbucks. They have a picture of a demon on their uh, logo. Think about your life. Think about what you're doing with your life. Stop wasting your life. You might die in five minutes from now. Don't, be, don't stay a child of the devil. Not everyone is a child of God. If you don't follow Jesus, you're a child of the devil. That's what God says. That is what God says. Repent and believe in the gospel. Repent and believe in Jesus Christ. He can set you free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nothing is impossible for God. He can set you free from your homosex, from your drug addiction. God can set you free from your butt sex addiction. God can set you free from your fornication. Jesus can set you free from having sex with your girlfriend. If you are having sex with the opposite gender, you should get married to that person. If you are fornicating with your girlfriend and you're a boy, you should marry that person. Guys, don't go to Starbucks next time. They support demons and they support homosex. Don't go to, don't go to Starbucks next time. Maybe, I'm not sure. Follow Jesus Christ. Follow Jesus Christ if you want to make it to heaven. <clears throat> you need to get born again. You need to stop being a sinner. You need to stop being a sinner. You know, you know, when, you know, when Jesus turned water into wine, 
He didn't do it for a bunch of drunkards. Jesus turned water into wine for people that know how to control themselves. When Jesus turned water into wine, he turned... Repent and follow Jesus Christ. Think about your life. Don't waste your life. Don't waste your life. When Jesus turned water, follow Jesus. No, stop sinning. You know, when Jesus turned water into wine, he didn't do it for a bunch of drunkards. Drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. If you die a drunkard, you are going to go to the lake of fire. If you want God to love on you, you need to love on the Son. And Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. John 14, 15. Don't go to Starbucks next time, guys. They support homosex. Don't do it. It's bad news. It's bad news. Stay away from it. Follow Jesus, repent, and believe in the gospel. If you love your girlfriend, no more premarital sex. If you love your boyfriend, no more premarital sex. You need to follow God. You need to follow Jesus Christ. Jesus hates your sin, and he might hate you. If you are a worker of iniquity, God hates you. And you are in deep, hot trouble. If you're a sinner, God might hate you. God does not love everybody. No more smoking, it's bad for your body. Think about, think about it. Come on, throw it out. Come on. Jesus can heal you of your addiction. Where did you get that from? God might hate you. God might hate you. God says that God hates all workers of iniquity. No, man, I want you to get free from sin. I don't want you to go to hell. No, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem, sir. I don't want you to go to hell, sir. You got a problem? Sir, I don't want you to go to hell. Do you have a problem? No, sir, I don't. Then shut the fuck up. Sir, I don't want you to go to hell. You leave my mother out of this. Wes? You shut the fuck up. Sir. You go to fucking hell yourself, fucking faggot. Sir, I don't Wes? want I don't want you to go to hell, guys. I don't care if I go to hell. Wes? I don't give a Wes? fuck. Come on, think about it, man. You're out here protesting for blood. No, I, I'm out here preaching, man. I know you're preaching. I, your Bible. I I've read the Bi I I read the Bible this morning. I'm a I'm addicted to the Bible. So Psalms 5, 5 says that God hates all workers of iniquity. If you're a worker of iniquity, God hates you. If you want to make it to heaven, that's what the Bible says. No. I'm not making it up. No. You are so wrong. How am I wrong? I'm literally just saying what the Bible says. God doesn't hate. He does. No. That's what the Bible says. No, God doesn't hate. He does. He also hates sin. You're confused and you need mental health. Okay, do you, maybe you could try to pray for me. Yes. Maybe you could try to pray for me. What is your name? You think punch this kid's face will No. What is your name? My name is Aaron, but if you are a sinner, God will not hear your prayers. God does hear your prayers. You need, if you're a sinner, God will not hear your prayers. If I'm a sinner, then why is it that my daughter, who has type 1 diabetes and has PCOS syndrome and was told she would never get pregnant, is expecting her first child? That's great. Now. Yeah. That's yeah. God, no, no, That's no. Prayer. Well, maybe you, some other people are praying. You need but it prayer. says that God does not hear the prayers of sinners. John 9 31. John 9 31. I'm literally just saying what the Bible says. No, you're not. You don't have a problem with me. You have a problem with God. You have a problem no. with the Word of God. No, sir. I this is what happens when you just listen to your pastor. You need a test. So does your, I don't have a pastor. Does your your My Bible pastor that you're reading gone. or your God or whatever the fuck you're saying you're preaching about, does he allow you to talk shit to people when they drive by? He allows me to rebuke them. Does it allow you to talk it, shit yes. about them? I'll get my phone. No, it, no, it talks about rebuking. Rebuking. Rebuking the wicked. No, man. Shit. No, 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 no. 
dude. That, what I'm doing is like super loving. I don't understand. What this is like super this is like the most loving thing you can do. Come on, man. If you die without Jesus, you will not make it to heaven. Jesus won't accept you the way that you are. If you die a sinner, he will not accept you that way. No, no, no. No, no, no. Bad news for you. Jesus says, yeah, you need to become a child of God. Not everyone is a child of God. Not everybody. Hey, guys, read and obey the Bible. Make it your life. Make it your life. Follow God. Make it your life. Make it your life. Follow God. If you die a sinner, God won't accept you that way. If you die homosexual, he will not accept you that way. You need to get born again. What are you doing with your life, two men? Don't be a drunkard. If you're a drunkard, you're in deep danger. If you are a drunkard, you are in hot trouble. Repent, fo follow God, go and sin no more. God hates sin. God hates sin. If you love your neighbor, you are going to tell them the truth. Loving your neighbor isn't making them feel good in sin. Loving your neighbor is not making them feel good in sin. When people talk about Jesus Christ, especially born-again Christians, the demons start to come out. The demons start to manifest. If you're a sinner, God might hate you. It says that God hates all workers of iniquity. If you are a sinner, God might hate you. Follow Jesus. No more being a sinner. Come on, put down the cigarette. Come on. God does not want you to destroy your body. Jesus, Jesus doesn't want you to destroy your body. Jesus doesn't want you to destroy your body. If you love God, no more smoking. Put down the cigarette. Why do you want to hate yourself like that? That's not loving. Jesus doesn't want you to destroy your body. No more smoking cigarettes, if you love God. No more smoking cigarettes, if you love God. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love Jesus, you will keep his commandments. If you love Jesus, you will keep his commandments. Oh my goodness. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. What a beautiful day today. What a beautiful day today. <laughs> Guys, God laughs at the wicked. If you, if you are laughing at the counsel of God, God laughs at you. God laughs at the wicked. Psalms chapter 2. If you don't want to listen to God... Yes. You spoke of the Ten Commandments. Have I? Yeah. Yeah, I've been I've been talking about them. Like the, the Bible is, you know, loving God. You know, it talks about not having other gods before you. That's the first commandment. The second commandment do you, the second commandment, you know, don't make for yourself a graven image. And that's what Catholics do. They love to make statues of Mary. Catholics love to make statues of Mary and the disciples. 
Catholics are sinners. Okay, where in the kingdom <clears throat> The first commandment, love God, put God first, having no other gods before God. And a cigarette is God? No, yeah, it can be a little G-God, yeah, yes. It can be an idol. It can be an idol. Okay, what kind of G-God are you on right now? I am... I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. No, you're filled with the Holy Spirit. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay, it sounds like you need some of the hatred of Jesus in your life. Okay, you, it seems like you need the hate of Jesus in your life. Yeah, Jesus does hate. God, yeah, he does hate sin. No, he does hate certain people, actually. Where did you get that from? The Bible literally, the Bible literally says that he does. Psalms 5.5, five. Psalms 11.5. Five. I can go on and on. Psalms 11.5, how is this wrong? You should show me the right way then. Jesus does hate certain people. Jesus, if you're a sinner, God might hate you. God might hate you. If you want God to love on you, you need to love on Jesus Christ. What do you say? No, Jesus says to judge people. Jesus says to judge people. Have you ever read the book of Judges? If you think that God doesn't want you to judge people, you need to cut out the book of Judges from your Bible. Yeah, Jesus actually says to judge people in John 7, 24. What are you waving your hand around for? Don't go to Starbucks. Don't go to Starbucks. Don't you know that they support homosex? Don't you know that they support homosex? Don't go there. No. Don't do it. No. No. Maybe she just has to go to the bathroom. Don't do it. God hates your sin big time. And he might hate you. Psalms 5.5 5 says that God hates all workers of iniquity. Jesus says in John 14.21 and John 14.23, 14.21 and 23, if you want the Father to love on you, you need to love on the Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ. If you want the Father to love on you, you need to love on the Son. You need to love on the Son of God. Jesus died and rose again. Jesus Christ died and rose again. Hallelujah. So that if you repent and believe in the gospel, you'll become a child of God if you repent. Amen, amen. God bless you. God bless you guys. Amen. Don't hail Satan! Don't go to Starbucks, guys. They support homosex. And they have a picture of a demon on, they have a picture of a demon on their logo. That is bad wickedness. That is bad wickedness. Jesus will not accept you the way that you are. If you die a sinner, if you die a sinner, you're in deep trouble. You need to fear God. You need to fear God, the one who can destroy your body and your soul and your spirit. Fear God. If you want to get smart, fear God. That's how you get smart. That's how you stop being stupid. That's how you stop being stupid. You need to fear God. If you fear God, you will become smart. If you fear... What? Don't! Don't say that to me! If you want to get smart, fear God. If you love... If you love your homosexual partner, stop being a homosexual. That's how you love on people. You follow God's commandments.
Yeah, you need to read the Bible, man. Shame on you. Shame on you. Don't hail Satan. God is not playing games. Jesus is not playing games. How many times have you heard God loves you? How many times have you heard Jesus loves you? That might not be the truth. But uh, anyways, you need to keep God's commandments if you want to make it to heaven. How can you continue to go against God? Well, I, I understand you like sin. What are you doing with your life? You people, look at you. You people are older than me. Have you figured out how to make it to heaven yet? Have you figured out how to make it to heaven? Jesus Christ is the only way to make it to heaven. What a, be what a beautiful day today. Praise the Lord. What a beautiful day. Praise God. Praise the Son of Righteousness. Jesus is the Son of Righteousness. God bless you, God bless you guys. Stay in the... Oh, read and obey the Bible. Read and obey the Bible. If you want to live a happy life, read and obey the Bible. If you want to stop being depressed, read and obey the Bible. The reason why you have a depressed life is because you've been going against God. You've been going against God. Think about what's going on. You've gotten the STDs and herpes are consequences for your sin. There is when you have anal sex, your anal region starts to hurt. There is consequences for your sin. If you want to smoke cigarettes, it's going to hurt your lungs and your voice will get worse. If you love your body, what, don't you want to take care of it? I know you want to. Well, maybe you don't, but... Jesus says, not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Just because you claim to be a Christian doesn't mean you're a Christian. <clears throat> Just because you claim to be a Christian doesn't mean you're a Christian. Most people that claim to be a Christian in America are fake Christians. They're bastard Christians. If you're a bastard Christian, you're in deep hot trouble. You don't want to be a bastard to God. If you're a bastard to God, you are in deep, hot trouble. The book of Hebrews talks about being a, a, a fake Christian, a bastard. What does bastard mean to God? It means fake Christian. You're not, a, you're not his child. I used to be a sinner. I used to be wicked. Don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Don't listen to her. I used to be a, I used to be a sinner. I used to be a wicked. I used to be a wicked sinner. Don't do drugs, guys. Drugs are stupid. Drugs are dumb. Drugs are sin is stupid. Don't do no more sinning. Sin is stupid. Don't be a sinner. Follow Jesus Christ. Repent if you want to become a child of God. Just because you shake your head doesn't mean you're good. You need to make sure you follow God, young man. All right. Don't try to be cool around your friends. Don't try to be cool around your friends. Hey guys, amen. God bless you. Amen, God bless you, thank you. Glory to God. Don't, don't stop sinning against God. Jesus says go and sin no more. No more, no more being a sinner. Don't be a sinner. Sin is stupid. If you want to make it to heaven, you need to follow Jesus. Jesus Christ is the only one that can give you a happy life. Look at that. U.S. Cellular, Jesus is the only one that can give you a happy life.
If you're in bondage, Jesus can set you free. If you repent. If you're addicted to pot, Jesus can set you free. Don't be a sinner. You need to become a child of God to make it to heaven. There's two groups of people. Two groups of people. There's sinners, and then there's child of God. There's children of God and children of the devil. Don't go to Starbucks, guys. They support homosex. Don't you know that? Don't you know that? Don't be out of your minds. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, big time. You want to know why God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah? Because there was a lot of sexual sin. A lot of butt sex. They even wanted to have sex with the angels. That's how wicked it was. Sodom and Gomorrah. Jude 1, 7 talks about how Sodom and Gomorrah is an example for us in the last days. That is New Testament. Jude 1, 7. Jude 1, 7 says that Sodom and Gomorrah is an example for us. You need to love your neighbor. What is love? What is love? What is love? You hear people using the word love all the time. But what is love? Love is read and obey the Bible. Read and obey it. What is love? Well, according to God, Love is keeping God's commandments. So if you're loving, you're going to stop being a homo. If you're loving, you're going to stop being a whore. If you're loving, you're going to stop being a liar. If you're loving, you're going to stop being a thief. You're going to stop having premarital sex. Premarital sex is not cool. Smoking pot is not cool. God is not okay with it. God is not okay with it. Jesus is not all right with it. God is angry at the wicked every day. No more being stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Think about your life. Come on. Don't you, don't you know you might die in five minutes from now? You might die in ten seconds from now. What is going to happen if you die in ten seconds from now? What's going to happen? What's going to happen if you die in ten seconds from now? Guys, next time I recommend you don't go to Starbucks. They support homo sex. I recommend you don't go to Starbucks next time. They support homo sex. And they also have a picture of a demon. They have a picture of a demon as their logo. God hates sin. Jesus hates sin. Follow Jesus. Repent, repent, repent. Repenting means going and sinning no more. Don't listen to the haters, guys. Listen to God's word. Jesus says you need to get born again. You need to get born again if you want to make it to heaven. Just because you go to church doesn't mean you're a Christian. And if you're a Catholic, oh, you're especially not a Christian. Just because you go to church doesn't mean you're a Christian. Most people that go to church are fake Christians. They are bastard Christians. Don't be a bastard Christian. What is a ba don't go to Starbucks, guys. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Don't go don't do it. Okay, good. Jesus will not love you the way that you are if you're a sinner. What? I, I, I used to sin, I used to sin, I used to sin, but I got born again. Sinners will not make it to heaven. 
Exhibit A of person getting angry at Jesus Christ. Your problem is with Jesus. I didn't make this stuff up. I didn't... I didn't just make this stuff up. I didn't just make this stuff up. Jesus Christ. Jesus says it in his word. I didn't just make this stuff up. Jesus says this in his word. Yes, God hates certain people. I know it's not a very pleasant thought to think that God might hate you, but, you know, I know it's not very pleasant to think about that, but, you know, if you repent and you follow Jesus, uh, he'll love you. If you repent and follow Jesus, he'll love you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. If you're into pot smoking, no more pot smoking if you want to please God. Stop waving your hands around. Come on, get serious. It's time to get serious about the God of the Bible. Jesus will not love you the way that you are if you're a sinner. But if you're a child of God, he... Amen. If you want God to love on you, you need to become a child of God. If you want God to love on you, you need to become a child of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you want God to love on you, you need to become a child of God. You can get a new life. I have good news for you. Jesus died and rose again so that you could stop being a sinner. Jesus died and rose again so that you could get a new life. Jesus died and rose again so that you could stop sinning the good news of Jesus. The good news of Jesus. You no longer have to be a homosexual. Follow Jesus. The good news of Jesus Christ. You no longer have to be a homosexual or a pervert or a sodomite. The good news of Jesus Christ. If you follow God, you can make it to heaven. How's it going, officer? Oh yeah. From multiple people at these businesses, they said that you're disturbing the customers okay. that are going in and out of their businesses. So you, you can talk to people, but like the, the speaker is just too much. Okay. Well. You know, okay, how about, you know, I, well, okay, this is a public sidewalk, though, but, you know, but, you know, I have been here for a good amount of time. If I go down to closer to the intersection on the other side of the building. So the, the main thing is, okay. is uh, you yelling at the private property. So, I'm, so I'm, you're disturbing the people that's on the private property going into and from a closed business, and you're disrupting the normal functions of the business. So, like, the okay. intersection, whatever, yeah, yeah. at the intersection, whatever, you're not disturbing the business. So, yeah, yeah, okay, so I, I'm fine with this. I've been here for a good amount of time, so I, I'm good to go down there. Okay. I appreciate you. All right, man, thank All you. All right, take care, no problem.